while dinner's cooking, I thought I'd show you my big pile of sweaters that I've knit for myself. First one is this monstrosity. That's actually the back. Here we go. That's the front. I knit this sweater in 2001 and it was the first sweater I've ever made myself. It's out of wool from Spotlight and a pattern from Spotlight. I can't remember the name and I never wear it anymore. It is stiff and it's very hot. I, I wear it, um, I wear it sometimes in winter when I'm going out to visit the sheep early in the morning. So that's my first ever made sweater. I'm, it's felted a lot. I'm contemplating unpicking it, but because it's felted a lot, I don't know. It might make some good fabric. I could possibly put through a hot wash and sew something with it. That's that one. My second sweater that I've knit myself is the white horse sweater. I'm going to put this one on. And this one is knit with 100% alpaca yarn from Bendigo Woolen Mills. And it is very cozy and warm. Sometimes the bubbles get a bit flattened, but it's, it's very cozy. Yeah, not much to say about this one. I like it. I wear it. <laughs> you can see more information on my Ravelry for any of these sweaters. I'm not going to remember everything about, about these ones. But this one, so I knit that one in 2001 and this sweater I finished in 2018. So a big dry spell of knitting sweaters between 2001 and 2018. My next one is my very, very favorite, absolute favorite branches and buds pullover. So I have negated the buds. I just loved the branches. So this is my absolute favorite sweater to wear, comfy sweater. And it's knit in five ply, which is a uh, sport weight uh, yarn, and uh, from Bendigo Woolen Mills, the classic five ply. And it is lightweight, good for in between the in between seasons. Um, yeah, it's just it's a, it's just a really lovely sweater. The only problem if you're wearing it in winter is that it does have the boat neck. Um, uh, neck band here so I do have to wear a shawl and cover that part there. I am contemplating knitting another one of these and doing the slightly smaller size uh, neck band to see if it brings it in a bit more. Um, yeah, this one is a favourite of mine. Yeah, I love it. Next. So the next one is the Neverton cardigan. I knit this Neverton cardigan out of Bendigo Woolen Mills. There's a lot of Bendigo Woolen Mills here. Uh, Savannah. I don't know if that this yarn's available anymore, but it has some wool and some alpaca in it. And it's a lovely, lovely fabric. The only thing about this cardigan, can you guess, is 
I have to brooch this. Oh, it would be nice if I had a brooch that sort of chained over. And my favourite part of this cardigan, if I ever frogged this cardigan, I would put these straight into a very favourite project. Are the buttons that I got from uh, The Knitting Man Recommends. I'll link everything down below. So, it'd be good if it snitched in like that. I think the armholes are just a little bit too low and so then that pulls this down even more. But I wear it all the same and I love brooches so I just pin some brooches. Maybe if the buttonholes went up higher. Maybe I could just, I could permanently fix it in the middle. I think the cats want to go out again. <gasps> Next is the Soldotna crop. This one, when I was knitting it, I knit it with all scraps and this yarn is just a little bit stretchier than the colour work I guess. But it sits, it sits okay when I put it on. Nice and warm around the neck. Hugs me well. Yeah, so it looks fine on. <laughs> um, this one. So this one was a knit out of lots of scraps. Uh, some, the pink and the purple. The pink and the purple, some of the purple, the pink and some of the purple are Bendigo Woolen Mills Alpaca. And, and there's a little bit of luxury, Bendigo Woolen Mills Luxury yarn in here. So all eight ply. Yeah. So this, um, Soldotna crop is again by Caitlin Hunter. And I do love it. It's cheery in for the winter time. Oh. I constantly have threads on me. Okay, the ochre cardigan. This one's been away for a bit. Um the ochre cardigan by Amber. O'Brien and I've knit this out of Shibui Knits Linen. Oh, I'm gonna get caught in my hair. And I love this one for oh, sleeves. Love this one for the summer. Or this, you know, spring, spring, summer, summer, spring. Okay, it just, just a little bit of warmth for those warm nights and days. It's just really lovely lace work design here. And on the bottom of the body. And you could pin it, I guess, but I don't. I just let it, let it flow. <laughs> next I'm gonna get sick of me saying next okay next is Tegna by Caitlin Hunter again I'm a bit of a Caitlin Hunter fan uh, this one is knit out of Lewitt Euroflax linen and this one is a favorite Ooh, it's a bit yeah I usually wear this straight on my body it's got this it's doing funny stuff with my dress but it's so pretty I love the lace I love the lace work on the bottom 
and I often pair it with my cardigan. I ran out of yarn and the arms are a bit funny. I need to unpick it perhaps and fix it, but I just wear it. Next is my Sippola by, you guessed it, Caitlin Hunter. <laughs> this is the cropped short sleeve version. Um, I did the, the arms a little bit longer. Oh goodness. Sleeves again. I love the short sleeves and how the sleeves of my dress poke out from underneath. All right. Um, I love this sweater. I snitched in the snitched, snitched, snitched. Mm. I decreased the body a bit later than I should have um, to bring it in a bit. And it used to pucker a bit, but I think it's, see, yeah. It's puckering a little bit. You can see where I've decreased. I haven't done a very good job of hiding it. Anyway, I'm fine with that. And I love the color work. It's so even. This one is knit out of Bendigo Woolen Mills Classic Five Ply. So yeah, this is in five ply. You can see what sizes I did on my Ravelry page. Have I put it? I did size two, but because I used the five ply, it fitted my more bustier body. Hey. <laughs> There's another cat at the door. I'm going to go and get him. Okay, here's Harry. We have three cats. Can you see yourself there? Is my very favorite Veronica cardigan. I knit this out of scraps from a shawl that I knit. So I did some striping patterns and I really love, I really love draping this over my branches and buds or any of the sweaters for extra warmth and I just pop a, a kilt pin in here and keeps me cozy warm. The only problem is I usually catch myself on the doorknobs in the house but other than that it is the most perfect blanket cardigan. Nice and cozy. Uh, so the scrap yarn that I used was Cascade Yarns, uh, Cascade 220 Heathers. I'm just chucking them all on the floor, making a big mess. Okay, all done Harry? Next up is my Ramona cardigan. And this one is knit using Bendigo Willow Mills Rustic 12 ply. I used the colorway Snow Cloud and that's beautiful gray. Here we have, all right, usually wear it a bit like this. Oh, it's so warm next to the fire with all these um, sweaters and cardigans on. Okay, I love this. I love, I love, I love this. I want to make one in brown and, I was going to say grey, brown and navy blue. It's fun. Uh, I need to be a bit taller. It needs it's a needs a bit of a deep hip. 
um, yeah, it's nice and soft. This yarn is beautiful and soft, really, but it does pill a bit, but that's okay. We just unpill it and wear it again. It's been, some of these have been worn a few times and I haven't washed them before I did this video, so it is what it is. Okay, my next pattern is probably by my second favorite designer, um, Jennifer Steinglass. Stein Gas? Stein Gas. Stein Gas. I've linked it below. Is the sun ray? It's so pretty. The only issue I really have with oh, top bun with Jennifer Stein Gass's Stein Gass um, with her patterns is that the arms are very thin. Um, uh, I did the third size, I think, with Big, made perhaps bigger needles than it was recommended, but I did it with I did it with five ply. I think the pattern asks for five ply, or maybe four. Either way, it turned out fine. Just the arms are a bit tight, so yeah, it gets warm in this, nice and warm. And I made this out of. Bendigo Woolen Mills Classic 5 Ply. And it is very pretty. Uh, the pattern for this has colour work in the sleeves, but I really like sleeves to stay away from my hands and I just like it when they cinch in at the base. So I did an extra long rib and I can turn it up if I want. And then I, I did a better job this time round than my Sipla at uh, decreasing the stitches to snip in at my waist. So, and then I did a, a wider rib band as well. Yeah, so this has to be my second favorite sweater my next one is my favorite crop it is another caitlin hunter pattern the jupiter crop very pretty <laughs> right so it's just so pretty I love it. And I knit this with, wait for it, Bendigo Woolen Mills Classic Five Ply. Can't go wrong. Machine washable. It's hardy. I've had that branches and buds pull over. That one was finished in 2018, before winter. 18, 19, 20, 20. It's been through its fourth winter now. And it doesn't have any holes or anything. It's awesome. And so is this one. It's my favorite. <laughs> you got me a bit mad at the end of the day with no kids in the house. Jupiter crop, I did in the fourth size. Just so you know. And this one is the pop crop by Amber O'Brien. I altered the sleeves. Um, I get, I, yeah, I altered them to be much, much uh, thinner at the ends. I made this one crop. And this is super, super warm. I may have done a wider rib as well. I just love how it sits on me. Can I do a wider rib? 
just snitches it in because I do have a waist. And yeah, the sleeves sort of balloon out a bit, which I love. This one is in desperate need of a D pill. And this one is knit out of Bendigo Willow Mills Rustic 12 ply. It's a very loud noise outside. It could have been thunder. Okay, so this is the last one I've hit myself. That's it. Only a gazillion sweaters for one person. I love knitting though. Knitting is fun. <laughs> yeah, so now I have to fold them all up again. Okay, I've folded all my sweaters again. You can see that I was pretty obsessed with the burgundies at the start, except for the beautiful branches and buds one. And then I move into the mustards and the greys and the blues. Yeah, so that's my pretty collection of sweaters. Don't mind the dirty oven. It's very hard to clean. A wood fire oven. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.